Hi everyone, I'm Nancy Jacobs, the Basket Master, and in today's video we are going to wrap our handle. We're going to do a little decorative treatment to it, and I'm also going to teach you how to splice when you're wrapping a handle because some handles can be really large and it's hard to have a piece of reed long enough to go from one end of the handle to the other with all the wrapping that you do. You need a really long piece of reed sometimes. So I want to show you how to, to splice it so you really can't see it. All right, we'll begin by lowering the camera as always. And what I'm using today, I have 11 64ths inch flat reed. You need to determine your right side and your wrong side. I can tell that's my wrong side. I want that to the inside of the handle where it won't be noticed. And you begin by slipping it in between the handle and your rim row. And if you need to create a space, you can use your lashing tool, your screwdriver, but you just want to get that end tucked in there. Kind of tuck it in at an angle because you're going to be wrapping around and around this handle. And so that's that's how we begin. We start wrapping around and around. And as you wrap, you want to keep, you want the wrappings not to be overlapped, but you want the edges to be side by side without gaps. As we move up, can you see there, wrap them side by side, nice and tight beside each other. As we move up the handle here, I'm going to start adding a little bit of color. Let's wrap it around one more time couple more times. You can start adding color really anytime you want. If you want to, you can start adding color right at the very beginning, but I'll start right now. So I need an extra pair of hands, so I'll grab my clothespin to keep that good and tight, and I've got some of my 11 64 inch flat in the same color that I used for the side of my basket and all of my reed has been soaking for about five minutes and remember with color you want to run it through your towel to get any excess off so it doesn't bleed onto the natural rim natural uh, color of reed and you can you can use one piece of color, two pieces, three, whatever, whatever you want. You can get creative here. I've chosen to use three pieces. So I'm going to begin here. I need to secure these in place. So I'm going to tuck them under here. This last row that I wrapped. Remember, this is a 5 8 inch handle. Okay, see, I have those all flat side by side, and I'm going to wrap the handle. I'm going to wrap it around a couple more times so those pieces are good and secure. They're not going to slip out. And now I can choose to do any pattern that I like with these three pieces. So for my first, I'm going to lift up the middle piece and go under. So I'm going over the two outside pieces and under that middle piece. And the next time around, I'm going to just, I'm going to cover all three. You, you like I said, just, just get creative and do what you like here. Now the next time around, I'm going to go under the first and the third pieces of color. 
bring that in good and tight. There. And the next time around, I'm going to again go over all three. Now I'm back. I'm going to go under. first piece again. And now I'm going to go over all three for a little while. I'd like to do the same decorative treatment on the top and on the other side. I just kind of have to eyeball it as to where I think the next oh the next piece of decorative treatments should start so I'll wrap it a couple more times around and around okay now I, I feel like this is where the next this is where the next uh, piece should go so again let me get everything untwisted this time I will go under the middle piece of color just like I did and then wrap it around okay see how that's starting again this time again I will go under the first and the third pieces of color Remember to keep keep that wrapping good and tight. And then wrap it around again. See how that's starting to do the pattern? I'm going to continue on until I am ready to splice this reed. So I'm going to continue on with this pattern and I'll repeat the pattern one more time on this side of the handle, the exact same pattern. I went one, two, three, four, five wraps between patterns, so I'll do that the same. I'll wrap it five times around before I start the third pattern. And I'll be back in just a bit. <laughs> 